Hello there, this is Patricia from Pinky's World. Today I'm on card sketch number 11 of the Everyday Cards. And this is the wee sketch that we're following here. It's a bigger version for you. So in the sketch, my papers were the green dots and the brown uh, decorative paper. So for this card, I cut out uh, Granny Apple Green, which is the matching colour, and I covered the whole of the base of my card so that you would have just no white show on. I didn't want white show on this time. So for this, you need to put your chosen paper like so, and then this one goes across here. So again, I don't like the plane, so I thought I'd add a wee bit of the matching papers from that pack, and I cut it just to fit perfectly in there. So that gives it a wee bit of um, something to catch it. So I'm gonna stick that in place first. Oh, glue. So we'll pop that in the center of my card. So now you can see from the sketch, I'll show you the bigger one, that this is butted right up against the end there. So that would be my brown piece. Which measures two and a half by four and three quarters so you sort of balance it between it's a uh, same space there to think by the look of it so i'm going to pop that on just now and that'll be in place for the decoration I thought when I bought this paper pack it would be just for ice cream and lollipops but it's really worked well with loads of other it's great I think the colours for masculine cards so my spotty bit's going to go here and it recommends that you add another wee four and a quarter by a quarter piece so instead of doing that I have just layered that up and I'll show a bigger part at the top than the bottom and that will cover me for my wee quarter inch there so that'll sit there so I'm going to stick this on now to the green. Celebration has started. So remember this particular stamp set that I'm going to show you is actually free with a £45 spend. So it's a good time of the year to gather up extra stamp sets for your stash. You also get that lovely penguin paper uh, free as well as one of your choices so this is going to sit here i have cut another green square two inches by two inches which is going to go up here this is going to stick on top of it i'm going to stamp my sentiment and then this boy is going to look like he's charging up and he is from this lovely set here counting sheep which is free during celebration so make sure and get your your choices in if you're shopping why not so i'm going to add a wee bit of the matching cinnamon cider which is this color across here just to tie it all in so i'll chop off a bit and i'll use a bit of um double set tape to hold it in place if i can find the opening oh my goodness there So I want to be able to wrap it around the back, so I'm going to set it on top of my thing so it doesn't stick to my base paper there. So I'm just going to put it in the centre, using those dots to guide me, and wrap that round. Let's use your pokey tool. Ugh, didn't get it. Try the other end. So I'll pop that back there and catch this. Whoops. So this is going to stick here like so. Go 
that's about right, isn't it? It doesn't have to be perfectly following so long as you can we can see that you have used the sketch. So I'm going to put a wee bit of um my tape roller on top of these ribbons because when I put glue on them they're inclined to take themselves off again. So about showing a wee bit of the brown. Now I'm going to stick this boy in place. I'm just keeping it flat because um, I have raised the wee sheep up. Get it central. And I'm using um, You're Amazing, which is out of that set. And I'm going to go in with Granny Apple Cream to tie the colours in. I'm going to stamp it on this. I want it right up at the top. So I thought your amazing covers a multitude of, of things that can happen, including birthdays, but it doesn't tie you to a birthday. So what way will I do this? I'll have to keep that flat as well, just so that I can put my wee sheep on top. You could go in with your cloud template and do wee clouds if you wanted. I'm just going basic today. You're amazing. And then I have him stamped. Which one did I use? Yeah, this boy here. So I stamped him out in Memento and I coloured him in with these two colours which work perfectly for the shape um, oh my goodness where are you crumb cake dark and light crumb cake simple as that and a wee bit of black on his hooves so easy to colour and you're just following the actual lines on the stamp so let's see if you're making any hassle trouble so I'm just putting him so that he sort of on this part but bouncing up there and that gives him right so i think something's missing here and um, we do have three wee items to put here so i have my wee half inch circle punch i know it's not available anymore but i'm sure some of you would have um card candy or something these might be even too big i might end up putting two on instead so if you get your your ball to put it on a piece of that condensed foam and swirl it around you'll make your own wee card candy switch will sit here I think actually two is going to be enough three maybe just too much we'll try it and see they're just slightly bigger than the card candy, the half inch. So if you have an even smaller circle die or punch, that would maybe work out better. So, one, two, three. So I'm going to go with that and maybe I'm going to tie not a bow but a wee knot out of a piece of this. Let's see what that looks like stuck to there just to give it a wee bit of something rather than leaving it plain Leave it too long I could be cutting at this all day but see if we're folding it over and do it properly but no so I'm going to use <coughs> excuse me some many sticky squares just to attach that if it falls off because it's fabric on fabric i will go with my yoohoo glue which seems to work perfectly so set that about there and then we're going to add some dimensionals 
Well, actually, I'm going to go with a smaller one of my own that'll fit in there perfectly. So I'm going to line that up with the top. Do I want it in the center? I'm going to put it over where it is on that. I kind of like it over there. Kendra knows what she's doing when she's designing these sketches. I don't know how she does it, but they're brilliant. They are slightly a wee bit big, but they'll have to do. It's close enough for me, like, and I think it makes a pretty good wee card. So, what do you think? Remember, all the details are down below. You still have loads of time. You've got right to the end of September to join in this challenge to get your 16 cards made. You can do them for any um, occasion you want. You can use any um, embellishments, whatever you have in your stash. You haven't to go and buy anything for this. Just use what you have. Choose 60 sheets of paper and do your cutting and start creating cards. Give them as presents to people give them as gifts to charities to help raise money again after lockdown and you know they won't go uh, unappreciated i'm sure and it's great fun making them so i'll catch you all again for the next one bye